When diagnosing components on a vehicle, sometimes it's not the best idea to rely just on scanner data. Sometimes there can be variables and variances. Sometimes we get an electrical problem. So it's a really good idea to check both sides. Check the input side of the computer and the scanner side of the computer. So we can actually do that on the same screen with a Zeus Plus. So let's walk through how we're going to do that. Okay, so in this example what I want to do is I want to test the intake air temperature sensor. I want to see the value at the sensor and then the value actually coming out of the computer. So first thing I want to do is I want to hook up to the component. So we'll go into guided component test. Uh, my vehicle's already ID'd here so we see the different systems I can test. So in this case engine. And then we'll find that intake air temperature sensor there. Now a couple different things we can look at before we hook up. There is a location image on this car, so it actually tells us where it is. So we can see it's over by the air filter there. And then a little bit closer here we can see that. Uh, component information if we wanted to learn more about how it works. But in this case I just want to do a DC voltage test because I just want to see the volts. So we'll do a DC voltage test. It's going to tell us we need to hook up our yellow to the intake air temperature signal. So that's actually number two on this pin out here. I already have it set up. And then it gives us what good voltages should be at what temperature. And then all I have to do is hit view meter. It's going to do some calibrating and it's going to tell me here's what currently is happening. It's a little over one and a half volts for what temperature we have. Now I said I wanted to look at them both on the same screen. So a couple things I need to do. Uh, right now we see the bottom window of the scope. So if I hit the meter one time it's going to make it full screen. If I hit it one more time it turns it into a window. Now that I have it in a window, being a Windows based tool, I can go back to the home screen, go into the scanner, and now I need to find my engine data that matches. So we'll go into engine, data display, and then engine management data is just the first one. It should be in there. It's going to collect the data. I'm going to find that intake air temperature sensor. So that's right there, intake air temperature sensor voltage. I'm going to turn it into a graph to make it a little easier to see. And I can actually make it full screen, make it even easier to see. Go with my full screen graph. Now I need to bring up my scope window to see and compare. So in this case it says 1.53 volts. I'm going to go down to my desktop, pull up my scope viewer. You can see I have a little over 1.5 volts there. I'm going to slide it over to the right until it snaps. Slide this one over to the left. Now I can compare them both on the same screen. I'm going to pull up my values here. I'm seeing 1.535 on an average, 1.53 there. Hey, they match. It's good. Let's see what happens when we start the car. Let's start it up. And we can see, of course, the temperature is going to go up, so the voltage is going to go up. So now we see 1.84, 1.86, 1.87. So we can see how they're both going up over time. Now if I had a problem with this intake air temperature sensor, maybe I had a flat line voltage or the voltage was way off compared to what the computer was telling me, then I know I have some sort of an issue between the component and the computer. And if the computer says I have nothing, but the sensor says I have something, then I know it's probably a wiring issue in between the sensor and the computer. So it's nice to be able to see that both on the screen, both the input and the output to help me speed up my diagnostics.